you can insert an AutoCAD file onto uh, any of the Visio page types that we have in our SI5 uh, Visio interface. However, our plan icon shapes were intended to be used on uh, a floor plan. They're very simple shapes, uh, you know, circle with SPK for a speaker and uh, simple wire shapes just to show uh, basic wire connections. Um, now you can insert an AutoCAD file directly on the plan view sheet if you choose. Uh, you may want to lock it down after the fact. Uh, or you could just use a background page like I'm going to do here. There's a background page that I created and uh, I'll insert the AutoCAD file here and then just link it to the this plan view page over here. Uh, now in order to insert an AutoCAD file, um, choose insert CAD drawing. Notice that this is a function of Visio. It is not under the VTools menu over here. So insert CAD drawing. This is going to open up a little window here so you can choose the CAD drawing that you want to work with. Now the CAD drawing does have to be um, in AutoCAD 2000 format or less, which uh, meaning less could be uh, R14 format or R12 format even. Um, Visio just simply is not going to accept any AutoCAD file that is not saved um, or that is saved past the year uh, 2000. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select this file here. It's already been cleaned up. There's a, another whole video on that. And what you're going to see here, um, you'll see a preview behind you of the uh, CAD drawing. And you're also going to see this form, the uh, CAD drawing properties form. Uh, now, Visio will create a custom scale sometimes it'll um, depending on the AutoCAD file and depending on your version of Visio uh, it basically Visio is going to try to always fit this on the page um, as best as it can it doesn't mean that it's to scale uh, now most of our clients don't have to put in AutoCAD drawings uh, to scale because uh, they're just going to drop icon representations of products and those won't be to scale necessarily so uh, no big deal um, however if you are doing something like fire life safety I believe it is a requirement that you insert to scale so you can always try to change to a predefined scale here. Um, you have these choices in here. Architectural is usually a good choice. And you can see if any of these fit. A uh, quarter inch equals a foot. It seems to be an industry standard, but it won't work on all drawings. Uh, in fact, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And it's you're going to see that it's a little too big when it expands out here for this particular page. So again, you work with the limitations of the CAD drawings that you receive. Uh, so I'm going to back this down here and see if we can fit it in at 3 sixteenths and hit apply. And hopefully that'll fit a little bit better on the page. Now a couple other options here for you. Uh, lock size and position is always checked by default. Lock against deletion um, as well as view extents. Those are also checked by default. Uh, if you ever want to delete this file, of course, you need to come back into these properties and uncheck this box. Uh, lock size and position is nice if it is where you want it to be on the page. And in this, we'll assume it is. Uh, otherwise, I could uncheck that, hit OK, and then position it. You can always get back into this CAD drawing properties form by just double clicking on the uh, CAD file here on the page. It'll open this properties form back up. Um, another option that you do have here inside of uh, Visio would be the layer tab. Um, Visio does its best to retain CAD layers. Um, you can see that some of these descriptions are cryptic. Some of them make more sense than others. And you can choose to turn on or off layers here as well. Um, and uh, you could change the color if you want. Again, like you can see back here, this little, the pink and the purple uh, look pretty good in AutoCAD that has a black background, but uh, when there's a white background here, it's a, they're a little loud. Um, yellow doesn't show up well here either, which is a popular AutoCAD color. So the uh, easiest way to do this is uh, select all of your layers here. I'm just going to hold shift down to select all of these and click the set color button. And then pick a color that you want to change them to. Now, you're not going to be able to change all of these layers. Uh, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. Again, that depends on the AutoCAD file. If some layers are locked or frozen, they may not change. I think in this example, there will be some that will retain their original color after we make this change. But I'm going to pick a, uh, like a, a gray color here to make these walls. Choose OK. And uh, when I'm comfortable, if I'm ready to go and close this form, I'll simply hit OK and the changes will take place and you can see that there are some product or lines on here that did not take the color change and again there's not much I can do about that at this point here in Visio uh, but we've successfully inserted an AutoCAD drawing well once again uh, if you want to open the properties just double click this and it will take you right back to this form and you can make any setting changes uh, as desired and our last step here just for this example would be um, I, I, I wouldn't want to drag my shapes 
over to this background page. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the plan view page and then link this to the background page. And you can accomplish that under file page setup. Click the page properties tab here. And then instead of the default background title frame page, which contains, you know, the title frame here with your company's logo, if you've changed that, I'm going to change this to the background lower level and choose OK. And now this page is linked to that background page. I can't click on this to select it. If I needed to move this, I would, of course, have to go to the background page. And this gives you a nice seamless um, canvas, if you will, to drop products. So you could start, if you don't have anything in your project data matrix, simply start dragging over products. I'll drag over a speaker, and of course I'll get prompted uh, to add a speaker from my database to this job.